the LGBTQIA plus movement is growing and it's growing a lot with younger people, meaning when they're exposed to it, they gravitate towards it and start, and start to be represented by it. Yeah. Imagine some kindergartner teacher kept talking about dinosaurs every day. You think the kid would like dinosaurs? Yes. Exactly. Um, so this is actually kind of a follow up from our last week, Cringe of the Week, where we showed you the um, Austin Independent School District doing the pride parade. And we were kind of laughing and pointing out the like, oh, there's the fat lady teacher. She's the one driving these kids to do this. And so uh, these are internal messages from a fourth grade elementary teacher in Austin ISD. She was upset that an entire week dedicated to LGBT still wasn't good enough. So I'm just going to read uh, these messages directly. So I think what happened was the vice principal kind of organized this, got some heat, and then backtracked on it. Mm -hmm. um, and so this teacher uh, comes out and texts her or emails her. I'm not sure which. It says, I feel that it is inappropriate to call our parade this morning a wellness walk, which is what the vice principal did to like back off the LGBT. Because clearly you saw the video. It was LGBT flags, little masks, and all that. They were doing it for a reason. While I understand that Wellness Walk is something that uh, was previously in motion to promote health and fitness and is something we want to continue, it really takes away from the experience of celebrating pride to couple the two. The first pride was a riot. It is not enough to just welcome, love, and celebrate queer folks with an X. Your allyship should always lead you to activism, speaking up and fighting for what is right, even when it feels uncomfortable. We can't choose in and out of our protest spaces. And so it's like, that's what, she just revealed the master plan too. Your allyship should always lead to activism. It's like, they're mm. creating little activists. That's the goal. And this is where it gets very dark. She continues, out of the 32 students that I teach, 20 of them are LGBTQIA plus and have come out to me. Well, there you have it. I feel that we need to do better for them to affirm our students. I think it would only be appropriate and right to publicly announce what we had this morning was a pride parade. Our students are aware and paying attention. So over 50% of that fourth grade teacher students, 20 out of 32, according to these texts, are in the LGBT community. Which is an insane it's metric. Like five eighths. That doesn't even make sense at all. Oh, oh, and so this is fourth grade. So this is what's waiting for the kids in Florida after the third grade churn out. Yeah. Um, and so one of the things is, she goes, out of 32 students that I teach, 20 of them are LGBTQIA plus, whatever. I feel that we need to do better. It's like, if you have 20 out of 32 that are coming to you and identifying as LGBTQ, your first shot thought shouldn't be we need to do better. It's, okay, what is happening? We're in trouble. My first thought would be, oh, we need to investigate this teacher, put her on leave, and then probably get law enforcement involved. What is she encouraging? What has she said yeah. to these kids? We do interviews, extensive forensic interviews with all these kids to <laughs> yeah. figure out exactly what's going on. Um, because this is like textbook grooming, right? Like these kids don't – what? You're LGBTQ fourth grader? You're queer? You're 20 out of 32. So it's clearly being presented as like the cool thing, the fun thing, the counterculture, like get back at your parents thing. And it's actually working. And the yeah, this idea of like sexualized children, we saw it with the Disney people too in that uh, little internal meeting they had. Mm -hmm. The one Disney executive, that lady was like, oh, I have a trans uh, child and I also have a pansexual child. And like pansexual means like you're sexually attracted to men and women. And it's like- Pansexual child is an oxymoron. It doesn't exist. It's like, it's like vegan cat. Your child is like sexual. Sexual? Did you hear what you're saying? And then imagine this frumpy teacher who's like all about allyship and activism and stuff. And some kid comes out as gay or what, whatever, fake gay for attention. You think she's not going to give him the most attention and praise on earth after that? It's yeah. like these little perverse incentive structures where the teacher is basically encouraging you to do it and will give you, oh, we'll celebrate you. We'll have a cupcake day. You know, I'm making that up, but you think she gives less attention to the marginalized ones who need an ally? Yeah. Not a good time to be a straight little white kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like hunting with my dad and I like going to baseball games. It's like, shut up, Peter. Get in the back. We're doing gay shit. <laughs> 